Pokemon Insurgents is a pretty popular fan-made game. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Cheat Engine to cheat in Pokemon Insurgents. As you can see here, my character has half a million Poke Dollars, as well as 99 Antidotes, 99 Pokeballs. So first, I'm going to show you how to cheat your money. So to cheat our money, there's a really easy way to find the value. Normally, we would just scan for the number 5,000, but the way this game works is that these values are calculated based on the number times two plus one. So if we wanted to scan for the value 5,000, we would have to multiply it times two and add one, which would be 10,001. So we're just gonna scan for 10,001 because I have $5,000 and we're going to scan for two times 5,000 plus one and it found 50 values. So now we're just going to buy one Pokeball and now there should be a bunch of values that say 9601 and there are. We're just gonna scan for a decreased value and now we're left with five addresses. I'll start to buy another Pokeball and I can see that only one of these values remains in this list. So we're gonna double click on this value and now we have it in our list and now we can change this to whatever we want. When we change this value, we have to be mindful of the calculation. There is a max to how much you can have, which is 999999. So we'll just do 999999 times two plus one. And that's just 1999999. So let's go and change our money value to that. 1999999. And there we have it. We have the money cheat. So we can also do this with the items in our inventory. And it works the same way. Right now I have 99 Pokeballs. I have 99 because I was testing this. But if we wanted to find the value for Pokeballs, we would search 99 times 2 plus 1, which is 199. So we'll scan for 199. And I'm going to toss one Pokeball. And now I'm going to scan for a decreased value. And I can see here, there's one that says 197. Because these values go down in increments of two, I know that this is the value. It was 199, we ditched one Pokeball, now it's 197. This is clearly it. So I'm just gonna go and change this to 209. And now we have 104 Pokeballs. We'll just go ahead and give myself 500, why not? Can we do this with our Pokemon? One thing we can look at is our Pokemon's XP. Our Charmander has 343 XP. We'll do times two plus one. We'll scan for 687. We'll beat up this Caterpie and we'll scan for an increased value. We have this value of 715, which looks like it might be the value we're after. Just to be sure, we're gonna fight one more Pokemon. Our Charmander gained a bunch of XP and now that value changed to 783. This is indeed how much XP our Charmander has. Let's try to give this Charmander 100,000 XP. So we'll give him 100,000 times two, which is 200,000 plus one. And now our Charmander has 100,000 XP and he's level 46. Let's give him some more. Now he's level 66. So here we've given him almost a million XP, which puts him to level 98. The real question is, will he still listen to us? So can we do this to make our Pokemon invincible? So the way the combat works in this game, there are many different things accessing the Pokemon's health during battle. That makes it hard to freeze the value or to turn off any kind of code that is affecting our Pokemon's health. One thing that I've found to work is that you can change how much health they have so that they have a lot of health and then the game can continue to run smoothly. You just have way more health than you should. So to do this, we're gonna scan for our Pokemon's health. Nidoran has 18 health, so 18 times two is 36, plus one is 37. So we'll scan for 37. We'll get into a fight and lose some health. So now we have 16 health times two plus one is 33. So now we can see there are two addresses left. One of them is switching around. One of them is static. We're gonna keep the one that's static. And now we're just gonna add a hundred to this value. We're gonna leave this battle because 
you can't change the Pokemon's health mid-battle. We have to do this outside of battle. We only went into the battle to find the address. So now that we have it, let's go ahead and change this 37 to a 237, and this should increase our Nidoran's health by 100. So now he has 118 health. Let's make this 837, and now he has 418 health. So now when we go into a battle, you can see he has 418 health. And when he takes damage, it works properly. It's worth noting that when your Pokemon levels up, they get reset to their max health. You can see our Nidoran is about to level up, and now his max health is 20 again. So in Cheat Engine, we can see here what our new max health is, and just like before, we can just add an 8 in front of that, and we can see he has 422 health again. Can we do this to change our Pokemon's stats? Let's try to give our Nidoran a really high defense stat. So we're going to scan for 11 times 2 plus 1, which is 23, and now he's going to have to level up. So now our Nidoran's defense stat is 12, so we're going to scan for 25. So here we have two values. It could be either one. We'll add 100 to this value and see what that does. And there you can see our Nidoran's defense went up by 50 points. We'll change it to 225 and we'll check it again. And now his defense is 112. We'll change it to 425 and now his defense is 212. So our Nidoran just leveled up. Will his stats still apply? We just gained one defense that puts us to 13. So it appears these stats reset every time our Pokemon level up. So is it possible to use Cheat Engine for Pokemon Insurgents? Absolutely. It just takes a little bit of babysitting the values because everything keeps changing. 